no, this is uh, this is what we get a, you know, this is a one of one of the things that we get to do, you know, uh, and, and I never ever. Um, hold on, just a second. You know, we never, we never, we never planned on any of this. This was never any of our plans. You know, um, we just listened to the Lord and he said to go out to all, all creatures and, and preach the gospel. So, you know, we listened to him. We, we went in his direction and, you know, he, he took care of us. You know, every, every single part of it. Like I said, me and brother Steve were planning on just renting RV parks every every state we went to, you know. But the Lord dropped this in our hands. I wasn't looking for any of this stuff, um, and just every every step of the way, He says that the Lord guides the steps of the righteous, right? And, and I'm not saying I'm righteous. Uh, you know, I I am only being made righteous by Christ. You know, if it wasn't for him, I'd have no conscience about sin, being a Gentile and not even caring anything about sin before. Um, but just just walking in his will, it's, it's become such a blessing, as you guys can see. You know, some people have asked how we've done it. Maybe Hetty, uh, you know, you asked, well, how do we eat? My old house, you know, there was a lot of money there was a lot of uh, rent, electricity, water, sewer, trash. Man, it, it was never ending. I was a slave. I was a slave to this world. You know, um, so 300 bucks is nothing. And you get so much, so much more in that plan. And I need it for, you know, my family right over here. You know, my wife right now holding the camera. You know, um, and, and just to be able to have our, our, our scope of where we're going to, going to preach and fellowship and, you know, be with the church, uh, you know, it, it's just widen that scope. Um, so I pay 300 bucks a month for that membership. And I think I'm on like a five-year plan. I pay the whole thing off in five years, somewhere three to five years. Um, sorry, I'm going in the shade a little bit. Uh, three to five years it's completely paid off the membership and then from there I pay like I think there's a maintenance fee that's 300 bucks a year that's a dollar a day to pay for maintenance on uh, you know and, and they've explained it and it's nothing you know a dollar a day to pay for someone to do the grass water the grass clean up the sites and all that stuff and make sure they're ready I mean that's what they're charging 300 bucks a year after that. But you know, the biggest blessing that I got from all of it, let's stand over here in the shade if you're hot. Dude. Um, you know, and, and I'm just gonna leave it at this. Is it's been the biggest blessing in the world for the kids. My kids have completely got away from electronics. You know, uh, uh, you guys have seen the videos I posted. They're, they're playing basketball every day. You know, we're, we're getting in the word, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're fishing, we're, we're playing tetherball, we're playing, uh, you know, whatever it is, going swimming every single day, going, you know, all this. It gets them away from all that stuff. You know, and that's the biggest blessing in the world is getting my kids out to be kids again and enjoy these types of things. And, you know, myself too, I haven't been on the phone, I mean, I'm hardly ever even on the phone besides map quest you know um and, and so it's been just 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 a complete lesson um you know and Hetty, you asked how do we how do we pay for food how do we pay for you know whatever it is that we pay for is of course you know i do have payments i have a truck payment i have a rv payment i have the membership payment i have gas uh, in the truck pulling the RV, I have, uh, you know, some cell phones, but that's about it. I don't have all those other bills anymore. And so what my, what our plan is, is like, uh, now, now in, 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 in the middle of August, 
I've, I've taken this time off to, to be with my family, to, to go out and preach the gospel and, and fellowship, try to seek out the church of true believers that are given all their lives, not to the fake gospel, but to the real gospel. But, you know, you can get by by paying $1,000 a year. If you're, if you're a single person or maybe a couple, you know, if you have four kids like I do, and we're gonna have another couple kids with us at any time, you know, I would talk to me about the the bigger package. And again, it's a it's a monthly payment, but it's it, it's it's not like the thousand dollars a year. That's it. You'll be paying uh, three hundred bucks a month for you know five years, but that includes everything. Everything you see me doing, that's what you see. Three hundred bucks a month. And you know, that includes rent, that includes electricity, water, sewer, that includes, you know, everything. So, that's basically it. You know, if, if you wanna, if, you, if you're interested in getting in a thousand dollars a year, that's what it would be. Very simple. Who lives on a thousand dollars a year nowadays? You know, plus gas, I mean, you can work a Walmart job and cover that. If I was a single guy, that's exactly what I would be doing. You know, I'd have an old beat up RV, you know, uh, that, that runs great. And you know, an old truck, those are the best. You know, a, a, a older diesel truck, you know, and, and I'd be working at Walmart. I'd be going to work at coffee shops. I'd be going to work at, you know, just tiny little things, just to get by a thousand bucks a year, gas, some food, you know, and, and you'd be covered, you know. Um, again, though, guys, you know, I know it's not for everyone, but I don't know. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord for everything. You know, I could have never imagined it, any of it. I could have never imagined this. I didn't plan this. I didn't plan this. He, he blessed us with this. He gave this, you know, he, he told me like, hey, move out of the house, get an RV for your family and, and go preach the gospel for the rest of the time here. Because I'm coming and I'm coming soon. Go be with the church. Go be with those who receive his word. That's what Jesus said. He said that uh, only those who receive his word are going to be in the kingdom of God. Right? So that's what we're going out this seek out the church that's receiving his word the church that says hey he says to dress modestly and let's dress modestly he says to not wear golden pearls then i'm not going to wear golden pearls i'm going to receive his word I, he says to he says to be meek gentle forgiving loving you know uh, brotherly loving you know loving your neighbor as you love yourself caring for the needy uh, clothing the the naked you know so we're just going out to, to be part of that final remnant that, that is going to, you know, fight hard to spread his gospel. Uh, you know, it's, it's the last stand, guys.